In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a tile map or an auto tiling system inside of Godot 4.2, such as this one, which automatically allows you to paint tiles uh, in the correct positions relative to each other inside of Godot 4.2. We need to start by drawing our tile mapping on, in our preferred software of choice, in my case, Photoshop, and I'm using this reference, which you can find online, and I've also linked it below for drawing our tile map. The outside refers to the border of the tile, so anywhere where the player can make contact, and then the inside is area that the player cannot touch. So for me, this mean, meant creating this kind of grass on the outsides, and then a more rocky inside, uh, all in, in red. It's important that you keep this chart because we'll be using it for later on another part of the process. It's ideal that you make your tiles square. However, you could make a rectangular tile map if you need it. In my case, I made the canvas 768 pixels by 256 pixels wide. So every square is 64 by 64 pixels. Uh, you want to keep the resolution relatively low so that Godot can process it well. And the tile map is just going to take a large portion of your screen, uh, most likely. And then you want to try export this file as a PNG. Uh, in my case, that's especially important because I've got these kind of beveled edges so that because which require a transparent back. So inside of Godot, open up a new scene, create a 2D scene, and then add the tile map component. You'll notice that it opens up a new tab here at the bottom on your taskbar, as well as a property in the inspector. In the inspector, click on the tile map at the top of the title, or rather, Click over here where it says tile, map, tile set, which is empty, and create a new tile set. Then double click on, or just click on the tile set. The, the, the shape is set to square. And we want to set the size to 64 by 64 pixels. Then we head down over to our taskbar and click on the tile set button, where we want to just left click and drag our file, which is a PNG, from our file system and into the tile set taskbar. So it will get this pop-up for creating non-transparent uh, texture regions and press yes. So you'll notice that Godot automatically creates a tile map, a tile set for by six of 64 by 64 set squares. You can already start to paint these tiles. If we go into our tile map, select the pencil to brush and then a, a random tile. However, these tiles will not auto tile and we would have to manually select each tile and press uh, place it in the right spot next to, uh, next to its respective uh, tiles. Additionally, these tiles do not have any collisions and we need to add those. In order to add them, we need to head back into the, to the inspector, click on the physics layer and add an element. And that's all. Th this has more options which can get into more detail. However, for a simple tile map such as the one we're creating here, that's enough. Next, we go back to the to the tile set editor and then press on the select button. And now if we just select the top left button, top leftmost uh, tile, we can go over into we'll notice that a physics tab has appeared, which was previously not here. And when we expand it, it has a physics layer zero, which is the layer we're currently we've currently created and it shows the tile that we've selected. This tile at the moment does not have any collisions and we've got various ways of adding them. So we could just draw the polygons manually if we wanted to have a, a more unusual shape of collision for this tile, or we can reset the uh, reset to default tile shape by pressing the letter F. So when I left click select the tile, press F, you'll notice it creates these four points around, around the tile. And then we can go and simply left click and press F on the rest of the tiles. When that's finished, now all of these tiles should, should have collisions. Now that we've set up collisions for our tiles, the next step is to set up the auto tiling system so that we can automatically place our tiles in the correct positions next to each other. To begin this, we go back to our inspector on the terrain sets option, expand this window, and then add an, a new element. Make sure that match corners and sides is selected, and then expand the terrains and add another element. We can name this whatever you want. I'm going to call it auto tile, and then set the color to blue. Then 
head back over to our tile set manager where you'll notice nothing here has changed so we, but we need to go into our paint section and make sure to select terrains when terrains is selected uh, expand the window again click on terrain set zero and then the terrain select auto tile or whatever you named yours now you'll notice that the tiles over here are all are all blacked out which means that they're not currently selected so we want to left click and select each tile you can also just left click and drag on top of the ones we want to select and now we've all been added to our selection so if we left click and hover over any of them you'll notice that it, uh, it, the tiles have been split into three by three grids which help us paint uh, the location of where this tile needs to be placed relative to other tiles and our master sheet for this is that reference that we looked at the beginning of the video which you can see on screen now so we want to follow the colored blocks on that sheet on this uh, painting mode so we'll paint this, the so we'll paint here on the inside then the center of this block and then the central blocks of these again and over here all the center blocks so everything that doesn't touch, touch the border. So these blocks will all face on the outside. And here, these blocks should not face on the outside, so we'll paint them in. And then just continue like this for the rest of the tile map, copying that master sheet. So now that we've painted over copying the master sheet, we can head on over to our tile map section and then click, select the auto tile option and then the, the pencil tool or by pressing D, which should allow us to automatically paint our tiles in the correct positions. So it's a long tile like this, for example, across, whatever. The tiles will automatically tile. You've got other options for painting them. You can draw them in bulk. You can draw and then later fill. This also works in reverse. So you can, if you use the eraser, you can erase the, the fill tool. So all the all identical tiles will be selected and erased. And then finally, what we need to do is save this tile map so that we can use it in our other scenes. So let's select the tile map, scroll to the top, and then over here, the tile set, make sure to press save or save as we'll call this uh, red fields tiles place it in the correct folder and now if we head into another scene and add a tile map node as i've done here we'll load the new tile set and then find our our tile set open it you'll notice that it automatically adds it to the tiles so we can just Left click and paint in, in this tile in this scene now. And if we run the scene, our player should also be colliding with them. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, please subscribe for more.